The Cycle Club Sudbury Reliability Trial is held annually on the last Sunday in January and rather scarily I rode my uh, first CC Sudbury Reliability Trial 29 years ago. It's 46 miles, starts from the Stevenson Centre in Great Cornard and the fast group's time is 2 hours 45 minutes. Heads out from Sudbury through uh, Great Rolling Field to Lavenham and then it does a big loop up to almost Stowe Market and across to Cockfield. This is arriving in Lavenham, lovely little village and the ride obviously comes through it twice. Uh, we do a right turn here into Water Street. There weren't an awful lot of people contributing on the front. Um, uh, I've been on the front all the way up to Lavenham really. Um, only about three or four of us going through and uh, so by this point I was looking to take a bit of a rest so I was sitting on a bit and um, we're catching one of the other slower groups here, a few riders from my own club in fact from CC Sutbury. This is coming up towards Brent Ely and uh, shortly after that we arrived in Monk's Ely which is where this is and uh, you can see in front of me there Simon Wright on a mountain bike and uh, he always was a bit of a nutcase. He always used to train on a mountain bike when he used to be a first cat roadie back in the early 90s. We used to ride together quite a lot then. Rode for different clubs then, but nowadays he rides for Sudbury. Anyway, he decided that uh, he'd had enough and that he was going to have a bit of a dig. I mean, nobody treats the ride as a race, obviously, but uh, he decided that he was going to have a bit of a, a bit of a crack. And uh, he claims he was only trying to get a hit because he knew there was a hill up in front, but you be the judge of that. Anyway, he makes a really soft move, he sort of starts to move up and uh, I wasn't thinking he was going to do anything at this point so I just sort of sat back and uh, when he got to the front he pedalled like hell basically and uh, got quite a big gap quite fast so you can see him going there and Rob Davis, also from my club, quite an able time trialist, jumped away with him. Well, they were two of the ones who'd been going through with me so I didn't really want to just uh, watch them ride up the road so after a bit I decided to have a go myself, here I go and Stuart Kirk um, also started to lift the pace a bit but he couldn't quite make the jump anyway it was quite a big gap as you can see they jumped away pretty hard and pretty fast and uh, I had a bit of a job getting across it you can just about see him in front of me in the far distance there and uh, as I came up to the junction as you leave Monk Sealy car tow in a trailer helpfully pulled out in front of me as well so I had to ease up as I approached the junction not wanting to get a view of his right wing and I would have I think probably not managed to get onto him if it hadn't been for the fact that Simon was riding a mountain bike and there was a blooming great hill up in front and as we went up the hill I gave it some and just about managed to claw my way back but if you listen carefully as I get up towards the top of the hill You'll probably be able to hear my heart rate monitor bleeping furiously, telling me that I'm at 95% of my maximum. So that was pretty much a racing effort, really, and um, certainly the hardest I've gone to that point in 2011, without any doubt. road gets a bit easier as the ride heads down towards Seema and we were whipping it along at quite a fair old pace along here. The overall ride average speed was 21 miles an hour and it was pretty steady. We were The three of us were riding bit and bit pretty much the whole way. So uh, it was a really good workout actually. Good bit of training this. But how Simon did it on his mountain bike I don't know. This is now approaching Bilderston and um, we were just catching a little group from my club. Dave Fenn there on the back as we come up behind them on a slight drag. Billston itself is a lovely little village but a bit choked up by traffic quite often nowadays. We were very lucky because they were very considerate to us and uh, gave us the uh, right of way so uh, not always the case of course. Billston's also home to one of the best local bike shops, Life Cycle, uh, run by Robert Morse and you can see it there on the right. Robert used to ride for the club some years ago. 
This is Great Fimbra, um, just approaching the turn at one house, in fact. And uh, we were just catching the last of the uh, groups that were in front of us, um, doing the same distance as us, but at a lower pace. Mixed group there. I think that's Colin Manarchy from Blending CC on the front, unless I'm mistaken. Nice fast descent after that. Last year it was very, very icy when we did this ride and uh, I was on a fixed wheel and I got dropped on this descent and I just about managed to get my way back on but uh, it was a bit tough on a 65 inch fix. This year I was on gears which was much easier. And this is Rattleston. We never actually even got to Rattleston last year because uh, the, the roads were just too icy, sheet ice along this stretch. So decision was made by the organiser quite rightly to turn it at one house and we said to come back the way we'd come so it was good to actually get the full route this year it wasn't actually an awful lot warmer either just a bit above freezing uh, luckily the roads as you can see were mostly dry so it was a good ride towards Cockfield now and um, this is the point at which the ride joins the A1141 to head back into Lavenham. Community minded gentleman there picking up rubbish from the road. Looks clear right, clear left. The roads are a bit holy in places after the winter we've had and uh, actually the ones around here aren't generally too bad because they're quite quiet but uh, Watch this hole that uh, Rob hits and then I hit, bang. And I actually thought I'd got away with it because my tyre stayed up and uh, usually you hit a hole like that, it either goes down straight away or uh, you've got away with it. And I was sort of breathing a bit of a sigh of relief as we came down the descent with Simon helpfully now pointing out the holes. <laughs> Better late than never. But anyway, uh, I, I did think that, uh, that I wasn't going to have problems with it. But... Uh, it wasn't the case, in fact, as you'll see. And this is Lavin on the second time. A bit of a pull up into the village itself. From that point, uh, we joined the club's 10 mile time trial course, and so a nice fast bit of road. We had a tailwind, so again, we were whipping along at a fair old pace. This is the descent down in towards Great Walden Field. And we really thought we were going to stay clear of the rest. There was a fast group coming up behind our group, and we knew there were faster riders in that. Well, younger riders, so they should be faster. And uh, so we weren't absolutely sure, but we'd been going along at a feral pace, so with the tail in, oh, we won't get caught. But coming out of Walding Field, my tyre had gone flat, and it turned out that it had actually damaged the tyre, hitting that pothole. And the other two guys were very kind, and they actually waited for me. Um, they could easily have dropped me at this point. Wouldn't have been very hard, I don't think. Um, but uh, they waited, and uh, I decided to try and ride it in. I thought it was going a bit flat. It was only starting to bottom on the rims when I put real weight on the on the handlebars. But going through these roundabouts as you arrive in Sudbury, I really, really couldn't go around the corners. I can't go around corners at the best of times, actually. But uh, I was even worse than normal. But still, the guys waited for me, which was uh, very kind of them. And we really didn't think we were going to get caught at this point, but... Bang! All of a sudden, we didn't hear them coming at all. The first of the uh, really fast group caught us, and they'd actually caught the group we'd been with. Dropped quite a few of them, and, um, uh, and then sort of ripped it apart on the last few miles and uh, just caught us with less than a mile to go and this is arriving back at the Stevenson Centre so it was slightly annoying because uh, we weren't quite the first back but uh, a good training ride we averaged 21 miles an hour for the 46 miles so it's what we needed early season and I soon had my puncture repaired 